Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays C019618? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does C019618 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a GMC vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code C019618 interpret specifically GMC car manufacturers? The basic definition is Post Catalyst Fuel Trim System 2 Rich Bank 1 And now this is a short description of this DTC code. Engine started, battery voltage must be at least 115V, all electrical components must be off, the ground between the engine and the chassis must be well connected, the exhaust system must be properly sealed between the catalytic converter and the cylinder head, and the oxygen sensor heater for oxygen sensor before the catalytic converter must be properly functioning. The DME detected a problem with the fuel mixture trim control one segment precision controller with oxygen sensor behind cat at below delta lambda threshold of less than minus 156 coolant temperature greater than 45 degrees Celsius O2 heaters ready, fuel system in a closed loop, but the rear O2 sensor is in voltage outside the parameters note for resistance testing of sensor heating, oxygen sensor should be cooled to ambient temperature high temperatures at oxygen sensor may lead to inaccurate measurements. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Oxygen sensor before catalytic converter is faulty oxygen sensor behind catalytic converter is faulty oxygen sensor heater before catalytic converter is faulty oxygen sensor heater behind catalytic converter is faulty check circuits for shorts to each other, ground or power circuit current below threshold this subtype is used for failures, where the control module measures current flow below a specified range. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.